El concejal delegado de Fomento Económico, Pymes y Empleo del Ayuntamiento de Marbella, Cristóbal Garre, inauguró la conferencia anual del Máster Franquiciadores de Gele Doro en el Hotel Barceló de Marbella. Según ha manifestado la máster franquiciadora de Andalucía, Extremadura y Murcia, Ángela Sánchez, Helen Doron, Educacional Ground, actualiza cada año los programas educativos y materiales dando valor a una metodología única que se sustenta en dos pilares básicos para los niños que van a aprender el inglés como segundo idioma como si fuera la lengua materna. En primer lugar, el niño está en un entorno agloparlante donde lo esencial son la repetición y la escucha. El segundo pilar es premiar a los niños cuando estos aprenden. De esta manera, los niños desde tres meses de edad aprenden inglés como si fuera la lengua materna, sin dificultad, ni presión, ni esfuerzo. Precisamente se aconseja a los padres y madres de estimular al bebé con audios mientras se encuentran disfrutando de un momento feliz. Well, thank you. Just a few words in English. I'm, I'm terribly sorry about my English. I know I am 45 years late. I should know Helen before, but it, it, it was not, not a, a reality. So sorry for my English. Uh, uh, and, and I'm going to try to, to explain everything in English in just a few minutes. So sorry for that. Okay, thank you. Uh, bien, uh, in, uh, in primer lugar, lo que me gustaría es Agradecerles a todos su asistencia. Eh, Marbella, es, Marbella es una ciudad que está compuesta, está formada por 135 nacionalidades distintas. Son residentes, personas residentes en Marbella de 135 nacionalidades distintas y todas ellas hablan en, en inglés. En Marbella, Nuestra referencia para hablar entre nosotros es, el, es, es este idioma, el inglés. Le cuento una anécdota y es un vecino que tengo que lleva 40 años casado con una persona española y no habla nada en español, nada. Es, es cierto, es real. Decirles que solo tenemos dos semanas de invierno al año y nos está tocando por esta fecha y pido disculpas por los inconvenientes igualmente. Me gustaría eh, eh, comentarle un aspecto importante que hace que España sea muy atractiva para eh, el aprendizaje de, lo, de los idiomas. Y es que el sistema educativo español no recoge la prioridad de los idiomas, con lo cual nos podemos encontrar, mi caso, que terminando la carrera de económicas, pues no tuve oportunidad de dar ni una sola clase de inglés dentro de lo que es el sistema educativo. Sí lo hice fuera, pero dentro no, no lo recoge, con lo cual es una oportunidad muy buena para vosotros al respecto. Eh, deciros también como dato importante para la oportunidad que tiene el, el, el idioma en, en España eh, que hay dos competencias importantísimas en este proceso de globalización que estamos sufriendo, que estamos viviendo y que estamos que está cambiando todos los paradigmas o todos los parámetros que tenemos en, en España, que son los dos idiomas que deberían recoger los sistemas educativos, son el idioma, el, el inglés y lo que es el lenguaje de programación, y a día de hoy no se da ni una ni otra, y son las dos competencias básicas para que se desarrollen lo, los profesionales de futuro. Are 
esto que en otros países es básico y lo han entendido y los sistemas educativos van muy adelantados, en España todavía no las autoridades de las distintas administraciones no se han dado cuenta y seguimos cojeando al respecto. No tenemos formación en programación suficiente dentro de lo que es la educación pública y no tenemos educación en idioma suficiente. Con lo cual es un reto, una oportunidad importante para los que desarrolláis esta actividad aquí en España para que podáis formar a los empresarios de futuro. Está bien. Ok, eh, eh, ya para finalizar, me, me gustaría volver a darles las gracias a todos ustedes porque Marbella se, se forma por las personas que residen y sobre todo por los visitantes que duplican e incluso triplica la población. And yeah, just finally, thank you. Thank you, Helen, for coming here. Thank you, Helen, for choosing Marbella. Uh, we are very fortunate to, to ha have you, all the group here in Marbella, and many thanks for coming. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, look at you all. We're here from, together here today, from 37 countries, from five continents, and we're joining together to learn and to share. It's very moving and very powerful to be with you all here. This is your conference. You are the leaders in your community. You chose to work with us, not only because you believe that English is a short career and financially stable income, but also because you believe in the way that this company does it. Each of you is a practical idealist. Sorry. Thank you. Each of you is a practical idealist and it's inspiring to be with you. And here you are. And we're here today in the wonderful Andalusia, where we have 34 learning centers and studios. Angela is indeed a leader in her field, and I'm delighted to, um, I'm delighted to be celebrating her achievement. We are all fortunate to be here with the winning combination of Angela's area development and the wonderful And Andalusia. 34 years ago, I realized that language was being taught wrong. My training as a linguistic scientist had given me the tools to analyze how language should be taught to children by repeated background hearing and positive reinforcement. A baby learns language even in his mother's womb and starts intensive language learning at birth through repeated hearing of the same language portions. And when baby finally says doggy, everyone goes, woo, that's wonderful. And that is positive reinforcement. So baby learns through repeated background hearing and positive reinforcement. So I started my first groups of up to eight children each in 1985. It was and remains the teaching of what I call the music of language. And as simple as it sounded, no one else was teaching like this. I only wanted to be a simple teacher, but I ended up creating a methodology. In order to teach, I needed to create the methodology and materials. It was the opportunity, and I seized it. Most of you, like myself, have needed to persuade your communities of the need for young children to learn English. Most of you have had to explain to parents about how their three-year-old child is learning very fast all the time and can and should and easily learn English 
with our unique methodology and specially created materials, as well as our trained teachers. And we have needed to explain it over and over and over again, yes? Some countries are more open and some are less but we have undoubtedly been and remain the spearhead of children's educational change. We have been the pioneers, not the followers. You understood long before your countries did and you have led their children to a better tomorrow, not only with English, but with more developed bilingual brains. You have been instrumental in introducing children to a fun way of learning that has split, spilt out into the other education that they do. You've allowed children to learn with great music and songs that have been especially constructed for vocabulary and grammar absorption in a natural manner and for it to remain with them in their long-term memories for life. We're teaching children ages three months to 18 years, that's a very wide range. And we do it. We do it with our materials and with our methodology. You have much to congratulate yourselves for. And you know what? Some of, some of you have been with us for as long as 20 years as franchisors. Actually, one, te one person's been with us for 25 years as a teacher, which is, I believe, Monica. But 20 years, Monika Laschkernig of, of Austria has been a teacher for 25 years. But, yes, thank you. Thank you, Monika. And she was instrumental in bringing around the next two people who are going to stand up, who are Joanna Cezarsk Szanek, who's Master Franchiser of Southern Poland. Joanna, you here? And Armin Richney, Master Franchiser of Bavaria and Baden Wurttemberg. Please stand up. You both signed with us in January 1999. That was a very special month. And you're true visionaries. And although we'll be giving you your certificates on day three of the conference, I'd like everyone here to already know from the beginning of your long-term achievement. Thank you. Okay. We are constantly improving our offerings to you. Our programs are being updated and created all the time. The pedagogic and educational level of our programs are outstanding. Competitors have framework and often excellent marketing. But we have more. We have the content that is the best in the world. And content is king. We are the real thing. In coming days, we'll be looking towards new horizons in using our proprietary content. And yes, this is mostly a Hellander on English conference. Nonetheless, we have with us our Math Riders National Franchisors from Poland. Would you like to stand up, please? So there, although this is, uh, we will not, much of what we'll be talking about is relevant to English, I'm sure they're going to see how how to use the tools also for math riders. We also have with us the management team of Helen Duron Korea, who will present to you the details of our success in Helen Duron International Ki Kindergartens in South Korea. And we have with us Fati, I can't see your surname ever, Deri Kyolglu, I can't say it, who is here to represent our Turkish kindergartens. Of course, we won! We did it! The Helen Duran Education
educational group has been awarded Best Children's and Education Franchise by Global Franchise Magazine. I received the award in the, at the International Franchise Association Convention in Las Vegas last month. And the company is now recognized globally as the leader in educating children. We are indeed scaling new heights. And I saw Facebook posts of franchisees excited to be seeing each other here. <laughs> we have a true sense of community and joy at being reunited every year. I believe this is going to be a very exciting conference and let's unleash our potential. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Spain, to Andalusia, and to this wonderful city, Marbella. Uh, may I introduce myself? My name is Angela Sanchez, and I am the mayor for Andalusia, Extremadura, and Murcia. This is the second. Uh, this is the second time that Helen Doron has chosen to celebrate the MFC in Andalusia, my homeland. The first meeting was held in 2012. I would like to give you a brief, a brief picture here and share the current situation with you all. I have been and I am the MEF since 2009. I began with half of Andalusia and Extremadura when there were only two learning centers but much has changed since then. In 2011, I took on a further area as a MEF. By the other half of Andalusia and the region of Murcia, little by little, learning center were opened in both areas until we reach the current situation. Let me show. Yeah, let me show you my development. This data shows three different moments over the past 10 years. Here you can see we start with seven centers and now we have 34. <laughs> and about the number of students, you can see the growth too. And now in the area, there are uh, 6,471 students. <laughs> I'm highly honored and thoroughly satisfied with our progress, all the while taking into account that these developments have been obtained through hard work, you know, and effort. A great part of this uh, success is thanks to the constant and enormous support of my own team, my franchisee, and another part thanks to the Spain MF team work. Personally, I would, I would like to reiterate it reiterate what I felt and expressed at the MFC in 2012. Coming across, Helen Doron has contributed greatly to my personal development and has provided me with a space where I can fully develop my potential. So, once again, I would like to say thank you directly to you, Helen, for your work, for your endeavor. I'm proud to be part of a venture where children's education is a priority. And not only that, but also to belong to the best children and education franchisee in the world. I welcome you back to Spain, to Andalusia, and to Marbella. 
I hope you will enjoy everything that Spain and Andalusia have to offer. Here, we have a crossroad of cultures, a homage to artists, to painters. That's why we, the Spanish MF, has chosen the little Picasso souvenir card because he was born in Malaga. We are blessed by great weather, warm sunshine, good living, delicious food, a marvelous holiday destination, and amazing bars on every corner. And last but not least, the flamenco. So I am positive you are all going to enjoy the MFC and everything else too. Thank you very much. Me piden unas palabras en español. Bueno, simplemente traduzco un poco lo que he dicho. Es, es, es afort me siento afortunada de ser andaluza, de, de estar aquí en Marbella, de que Helen haya escogido eh, Marbella para celebrar la, la Master Conference. Eh, ha sido un honor. Tenemos muchas cosas que disfrutar aquí. Marbella ofrece todo lo que necesitamos porque tiene eh, buena gastronomía, buen tiempo, tiene, ofrece, es hospitalaria, es preciosa, es perfecta para reunirnos un montón de personas de muchos países y sentirnos acogidos. Así que muchísimas gracias a Marbella y nada más. Gracias.